Yo, good afternoon, loud and proud crowd. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I first want to say, first off, thank you guys for everybody who's participating in the giveaway and buying the merchandise and stuff like that. It's it means a lot. Uh, it just helps out to buy the next truck um, for the next build and then the next thing that we're gonna do with that, which I'm not going to say quite yet. But it just helps out with some of that other stuff as well too when people get engaged. And it's also kind of like a little thank you for all the previous year, the whole previous year on creating content, building up to this point to be able to basically pour pretty much everything that I made in the past year into this giveaway. It's pretty much what I did. Any like extra money that I made, I told you guys like pretty much everything that I make, I've always said this like, it goes in to keep the bills moving forward and keep the channel moving forward enough to keep it living, surviving. And then I set money back for the next big thing. And the giveaway was a big thing that I was saving up for for a long time. Time, and that's where I sunk pretty much most all the money that I made in the past year off of YouTube and merch, and merch sales and stuff like that. Um, I pretty much put all that into the giveaway to be able to even do this for you guys. So um, anyways, thank you so much for everybody participating. It really helps out, means a lot. Some other things, you might be able to see that right there. We've got some other things for the dually and also a couple other things I'm gonna talk about real quick. The dually, and I, I do apologize for the, like I said, lack of build content lately. It's been kind of, yeah, I'm waiting on the dually to get back because the big stinky's pretty much good to go except for we're gonna get a set of injectors for it. Um, probably some 90 horse injectors, but other than that, that truck's pretty much good to go. It's not gonna be over. It's gonna be right around 300 horse-ish mark, but that's about it. Um, but the dually is the one that I'm really focused on now because that one's already show quality. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful truck. But this one, which by the way, if you guys are new to the channel, I might as well show you this real quick because I just assume everybody watching these videos knows what I'm talking about when I say, you know, when I'm talking about the trucks. But that's the big stinky, okay? That's one of the giveaway trucks, okay? Um, so anyways, what I was saying is that truck's already in show, show quality con condition. It's a beautiful, beautiful truck. Um, but the dually is the one I'm mo more focused on right now. So that's what I'm waiting on is for the dually to get back. And then we're going to, every day we're going to be installing stuff on that truck for the last, pretty much last full week of the giveaway. So very, very excited about that because it's going to be taking a total transformation. So some quick things about the dually. New bumper, okay? I wanna show you guys right now. And before anybody says anything like, oh, why did you do another fourth gen bumper and this and that, let me, let, me show, let me tell you my reasoning and you'll thank me in a bit here, okay? The reason I went with another fourth gen bumper is A, because, you know, the other bumper on the truck is just bent in, it's crooked, it's, it's smashed in a little bit, and it just does not look good, okay? It, it's kind of messed up. And I don't like that. I wouldn't want to win a truck with a banged up front bumper that kind of looks like crap. So um, that's why I'm replacing it. I'm, I'm pretty much only replacing the bumper to replace it. It's not like something I'm replacing for an upgrade or just to make it look cooler. I'm pretty much just replacing that second gen bumper, but I'm just swapping it out with a fourth gen because, well, these are much more available nowadays while well, newer trucks and they're cleaner and a lot easier to install and everything else. Um, so all that, all that aside, this bumper, after freight shipping costs, it cost me right around 300 bucks. But it's not one of those bumpers that like I ordered off Amazon that doesn't have the hardware. This has all the fourth gen factory hardware and stuff. I've got the, uh, I've got the uh, mounting brackets in the house and stuff. So that is all good to go. And I didn't get the fog light hole style. I actually got this on eBay, by the way. Tons of them on eBay. Everybody's like, oh, you can't find them anywhere. There's tons of them on eBay. I mean, I had one store that had probably 15, 20 of these things for sale all different styles with the fog light holes, not fog light holes, I mean everything. So um, this one of course doesn't have the fog light holes because I just didn't want to deal with it anymore and I already have to try to fill the gap of this, you know, on the bumper which is easy enough because I'll just throw a 42 inch curve in there just to fill it because, you know, whatever. Um, light, bars are, light bars are everywhere and it's a very cheap way to make the truck look a little bit cleaner and to fill in the gap. Uh, but anyway, so that, that's a 14 bumper. Some other things I want to talk about on the build. That truck has been built to be like a farm truck, a pulling truck, like a, a like a working truck. You know, if you don't have a trailer, you got to pull, you know, nobody nobody's really going to care. You know, it's, it's your truck, do what you want. But we're going to make it look like just a sick, how do I say it, like revamped old farm truck. So it's going to be the old farm truck, but we're going to have some new stuff for it, okay? It's going to be getting, because they all have to get removed, this is the new theme for the truck like black, red, and whitish kind of thing. Um, the truck's gonna be painted a metallic silver, just like the factory OEM Dodge Silver, but with a like just a little more metallic in it. Like, it's gonna look awesome, right? Uh, by the way, I ordered a sport grill and I had it shipped to the guy's house so he can color match it and put it on the truck. However, the only two things that aren't gonna be color matched on the truck 
is the front and the rear bumper. And the reason I didn't have the, the rear bumper painted, because it is down there at his shop right now, is I said, well, the big stinky has a painted rear bumper, but not a front bumper. I said, for this truck, if I'm not gonna paint the front, because I can't, the bumper's here and he's three and a half hours away, I said, I don't wanna have you paint the rear, so just leave the rear chrome, then the wheels will be chrome, and then the front bumper will be chrome. So there's some chrome to the truck. If it's gonna have any, it's gotta have more than just one item. So um, anyway, so all that aside, it's gonna have new badging and stuff as well. It's gonna have smoked projector headlights, smoked LED taillights, smoked cab lights, smoked third brake light, and it's gonna have like the blacked out with the red lettering Cummins emblem uh, badging for both sides. Since the rear stickers all had to be peeled off, he said with his heat gun, he had to scrape them all off and all the four x four stuff. We got new four x four badge, the 2018 style for the rear tailgate as well. Some people don't like badging. I, I kind of like it when it's like good looking badging. If it's just like random old trusty badging, I don't really care for it. But if it's good looking, then I, I, I don't mind it. Then we're also going to put brand new Ram 3500 heavy duty badges on the truck as well, okay? I've got one for each side, of course. That's kind of the plan for this truck, okay? It's gonna have the mud terrains, it's not gonna be lifted, it's gonna have 33 inch by 1150 mud terrains, smoked headlights, taillights, third brake light, blacked out badges, stuff like that, all that cool stuff, right? But it's gonna be a metallic silver truck, so it's gonna be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now that we got that all out of the way, let's talk to you guys about one more thing that I kinda had, on, had in mind. And this is something that I don't know if I'm gonna do for sure or not, but it's kind of it's kind of up in the air. I'm thinking about it, I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. I would have to have enough people say to do it and enough engagement and enough, you know, like, like enough, I don't know, persuasion, I guess you could say from you guys on whether or not you guys think I should do this. I was gonna buy a, just a dirt cheap, just a dirt cheap, cheap rusted out second gen 12 valve. This is something that I would literally buy, do some just some goofy stuff with it, and just beat the tar out of the thing. Like I'm serious. Like just have fun with it. Like burnouts and create. Like just do crazy, crazy crap. This is what would make it more fun. The goal with this truck would be see how much abuse it can take before it literally is destroyed. That would be the goal with this truck. And the reason I would do this with this truck is because it'd be so cheap, it'd be so, it's high mileage, it's dirt cheap, something like that. That's the only reason I would do it with that. Like with Big Sneaky, I, I could never do it with that truck. The Dually, I could never abuse that truck like that. Nasty Red, we could never do that. Okay, they're beautiful, beautiful trucks. They got fairly low mileage, long, 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 long life ahead of them, right? The bodies are good, the frames are good, everything's perfect, right? Like I don't have like a specific truck that I have in mind, but, you do kind of randomly, you'll find these trucks that are just like dirt cheap because bodies rusted out, rockers are rusted out, fenders are rusted out, frames rusty, like stuff like that. But it'd be a perfect truck to experiment with if it's got a good engine, you know what I'm saying? Like just see how much abuse the thing could take before it's just done, you know what I'm saying? Like just done, like turn up the fuel all the way, just turn it up, do a goofy exhaust system on it. I mean, just just beat the tar out of it. That would be the thing, is just see how much abuse the thing can take until it's done, like it is done, you know what I'm saying? And then when I'm done with the truck, if I if I can actually manage to kill it, and it sounds so bad, you know what I mean? But if, if I could actually manage to kill the truck, which I think would take a little bit more abuse than I'm thinking, I would either scrap it or part it out or something like that. But it would be it would be something to where it's cheap enough, it's rough enough. I wouldn't you know like I wouldn't feel bad about it. And same for you guys. Like if it's a truck that has a bad body, a bad frame, the engine's all crusty and nasty looking. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm a you know I'm destroying a perfectly good truck. You know like I'm not gonna frame and body swap and everything. And the only thing that's good about the truck is the engine. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's kind of up in the air. Thinking about it, I don't know if I should or not. Would you guys like to see that? Just see how much abuse a one of these trucks could take before you like actually destroying it, like actually killing the thing. Cause I've always kind of wondered, I'm like, guys say that you can't, you know, like you can't kill 12 out, can't, can't kill a Cummins, can't kill 12 out. But I feel like you really can, you know, like you really could if you could take it to a certain extent. So I don't know, I don't know what I would do with it, but I, I, I would have just a lot of fun with it and just make some freaking killer content with it for, until I could, until it, I could kill the thing. And if I couldn't, and I just had a ton of fun with it, and then I got to a point where like, I just can't kill the thing, I might just give it to somebody. Like somebody could just have it. Like if you wanna come pick it up, it would be yours. You know what I mean, something like that. Or if I did have it to where you'd have to buy merch to enter, it would be like a really limited number, like only like 
50 people can enter and it would be like a very limited dollar amount so that like it's just literally just paying enough to get the truck to somebody you know like that like that's it and then it'd be out of my hands you know I don't know but you guys want to see something like that let me know I don't want to make this video too long because it's just kind of an update and kind of a thought that I had in my mind it's something that I'm thinking about so if you guys would like to see something like that literally see like because I've got those things titled like how much abuse can this power store take how much can abuse but those are just like towing videos this would be legit like maxing out like taking a stock truck and just turning up the fuel a ton or you know you know what I'm saying like just do like goofy stuff and just see how much the freaking thing can take with like burnouts and just just crazy crazy nonsense abuse to it and just see how long the thing could last you know what I mean run some weird fuels in it crap like that I think it'd be fun but I don't know it's up to you guys what do you guys think do you guys think I should do that do you guys would you guys not want to see some goofy content like that because the next week week and a half waiting on this dually I feel like I could have some fun with something like that to keep content coming to you guys and uh, just have like a good old time in the meantime. Anyways guys, I'm gonna put an end to this video, but like I've said in previous videos, you guys have not, maybe you guys are new for the first time, don't forget to buy the merch. There's all kinds of cool merch. There's I Make Money, You Make Excuses t-shirts for all you hardworking dudes out there. You always have those people that was just fussing, oh, I don't have money, I don't have this, I, don't, I just always get the short end of the stick. But all you guys out there that know what it's like to freaking work for what you have, you know, it's just a t-shirt, like to me, as soon as I get them all in, I'm gonna be rocking one all the time. Because I hate people that make excuses for their life and where they're at when it's seriously in their hands and it's something that they can control. When it's that type of stuff that they can control, I hate complaining on that kind of stuff. But anyways guys, all kinds of stuff, you know, like just cool humorous t-shirts. I'm not gonna list them all off, there's a bunch of them. But link in description, every $20 you spend gets you entered to win either the dually that we're building as soon as it gets back or this black, beautiful black truck right here that I just showed you. A winner's gonna be chosen on the week of July 4th. Every $20 you spend is another entry. Somebody's gonna be winning a free freaking truck. And all I can tell you, I get asked all the time, if we win, where, how are we gonna get the truck? All I can tell you is if you win, I can promise you, you are going to get the truck. It's not like, oh, I don't know if you're gonna get, like you're gonna get the truck if you win. So um, don't worry about it, just don't, don't stress it. If you win a truck, you're gonna get the truck. That's how it works, this is legit. No scams, no games, no gimmicks. Like just, this is a real freaking deal, but it's a really focused down and small giveaway. So it's kinda like, like I can't, I can't tell you how many people are entered, but it's not a lot. So that's all I'm gonna say. Like it's not, there's not a lot of people entered. So anyways guys, thank you so much for your time. Let me know down in the comments you guys wanna see how much abuse can this 12 valve take kind of deal with a, with a truck like that that I just buy that's just dirt cheap to just just freaking have fun with, have a blast with, or do you guys not want to see that? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, guys, leave your comments down below. Leave your likes. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.